So hi there. Uh, my name is Jamie, uh, Jamie Morgan Kane. Um, I'm a first time author and a new member to CWA. I started uh, my life on the Isle of Man. I was born there. At six months old, I was uh, sent away first to Canada, then illegally taken into the United States. Uh, while I was in the United States, uh, I eventually was sold to a man who turned out to be a friend of Richard Nixon, the President of the United States. And as time went by, things did not go so well. And eventually, uh, he had it set up to where I got put in prison for 34 years for a crime I didn't commit. I have since been back for the last two years, back in the UK after being deported by Donald Trump. Thank you. Um, and so now I've been starting my life over again. Interesting enough, um, having done 34 years in prison, I uh, had the, the opportunity to do a lot of lockdowns. Uh, most of them were merely uh, a few weeks in length. Uh, the longest one was 18 months. But of course, at that time I was sharing a cell that was four feet by eight feet with another individual. And uh, we had a toilet and a sink in the cells at the time. So it was not the most comfortable thing. Currently, I live in uh, North London in a large Victorian house. And as you can see, I have access to a very large garden. Uh, so this lockdown is, is definitely not the kind of thing I'm used to. And uh, so, but it had, does have its own challenges in the same rights. Uh, because there's so much of the house, I'm constantly uh, having to find things to do throughout the house to uh, try to fill out my day. But one of the things I did last year was I did write my very first book. And um, it seems to have been received very well uh, by the public. I've had great comments on it. Uh, it's about uh, a bit about my early life. And... Uh, then most of it is about my time in prison. And because I was serving time in California prisons, I did end up um, getting up close and personal and speaking to uh, quite a number of the notorious and infamous uh, prisoners of the time, such as Charlie Manson, Tex Watson, uh, Ed Kemper, Herbie Mullins. Um, but the funny part for me was that I spent all that time locked down in prison, finally get deported back to the countries of where I was born, though it was a good number of years before I actually knew this. Uh, I was lucky enough to go back twice last year to the Isle of Man, which uh, really fulfilled a lot of my dream in that respect. But now I find myself suddenly locked down again. So it seems kind of a bit ironic. The only thing this time is it's like basically the whole world is locked down with me. So it doesn't seem so lonely. Um, I really hope that uh, you know, most people are being able to find positive ways of filling their time. Uh, I really wish the very best for everybody. Uh, I do take great care when I do have to go out uh, because I do help take care of an older person. And uh, so I have to make care sure they're safe as well. But for the most part, this has just been a great adventure. Uh, I just uh, submitted my second manuscript to my publisher, Mirror Books, and uh, I'm waiting for their response on what they think of it. I'm continuing uh, writing. I have a couple of more manuscripts in the works. I find this to be quite rewarding. Um, and so I really think that this life, even in the situation it is now, is uh, still quite a good life. And there used to be an old saying in prison, guys would say that the worst day on the streets was still better than the best day in prison. I wish you all the best. Take care. Um, if you enjoy uh, reading true biographies, I'd ask that you might look at mine up.